What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Manny Z here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I assume if you don't live under a rock, you would have most definitely heard of the game called Type Soul. Uh, it was a Bleach-based game that took the Roblox platform by storm. It had really good PvP and had the had the game on lock for like two months. But unfortunately, due to lack of updates, it currently fell into the gutter. But as of recent times, it is currently under a whole new management and dev team that are planning on making new updates to the game. And as you can tell by the video title, I uh, managed to get a nice Q&A size interview with the new owner. So if you do enjoy this video and enjoy the questions and whatnot, please feel free to hit a like. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button because it's free and I highly appreciate it. And I will also be dropping, you know, more types of content in the future once it like, gets updates and released and whatnot. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Yo. Hello. What's going on, bro? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing swell. I would first off like to uh, thank you for allowing me to... Uh, you know, interview, ask some questions. Uh, not too many, you know, times where devs actually, you know, talk directly to the community, which I've noticed you've been actually mad active with uh, talking to like the community and stuff like that and taking in suggestions and all that. Because the original devs, type, so you know, them, they didn't commute, communicate with like anybody at all. So <laughs> I will give you props on that, on that part. Cause you've actually been very active in the community. Yeah. Yeah. So. You know, I also saw, you know, your interview with uh, Nano and Lazy, which uh, shout out to those two. You know, if you guys want to watch their videos, I'll probably leave them in the description or something. But, uh, so I'm going to try and avoid asking, like, questions they already asked to, like, you know, get some, like, different answers out. The first question I have is, uh, you already talked about, um, like, wanting to change out progression of, like, you know, obviously getting to a lead grade and things like that. So I assume one thing will definitely be... Uh, like cutting out the rank cooldown because I'm pretty sure they have reduced it by a lot, but it wasn't out the game completely. And so you'd still have to wait a bit to be able to hit max rank. So I assume one is going to be cutting out the rank cooldown, but what is like another way you are going to like implement like a better progression? Because like as of now, obviously, you know, this game is very PvP oriented where like you have to PvP in order to level up it's not like games where like it's a choice to pvp like you have to pvp in this game to do like everything so what are some ways that you're gonna like you know try and implement making a progression easier um it's kind of hard to say without spoiling because i had a an idea that i wanted to make for for low rank to progress without having to like i don't know how you say like without having to like um worry about being killed if that makes sense like mm -hmm. worry about being ganked while they're progressing like you know like um you start at rukon then you either go to soul society or you go to kt to try to run missions and then people are either fighting around you or you just end up being in the crossfire or something happens mm -hmm. i i had an idea that would just make it so like you can progress by yourself if you want but I can't say what it is without spoiling, but there is another way. Yeah, that is, that is good to hear because I know it, it was pretty difficult. Well, I mainly started my, my first like playtime and testing. I started on like the later half of testing and like, so everybody was like already like demons at the game. So I was like, came in, I only got to like special grade before the game release. So I ended up like finishing out everything after the game release. So I do know, like, there's going to be a lot of new players and then obviously, you know, people coming back to the game, like max bills and all that type of stuff. And of course, you can't really stop PKing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I know it's definitely going to be kind of hard to do, but I'm glad that you are open to the idea of, like, you know, making progression easier for, like, you know, the lower level. Yeah, I definitely want to add um, some type of new protection for them, if that's even possible in this game, because type is... Uh... It's a really weird game, like how it was made. Mm -hmm. But if new protection can be made, then it'll be when the game releases or re-releases again. All right, that's 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 good. And so for my next question, I can't lie, I did play Time Emma, had my uh my fun on it here and there. With it, I kind of got whooped by like some of the new stuff that y'all implemented in comparison to like normal types of stuff. When I got used to it, like you know, I was doing my thing a little bit, but. In there, you did, and also inside the stage, you mentioned adding extra points as a possibility. Now, me personally, I am like more so indifferent to it. Like, I don't mind if there is extra points or if there isn't. But there are talks of if this will like make or break the game. Cause, like, you know, obviously, you know, 
adding some points will like actually like make certain builds either like more broken and things of that nature so i just wanted to see like where your head was at with the whole like extra points thing um the thing about extra points is like the reason why i made like a a thing where like a memo you can get 75 was because 75 is like the perfect like spot where you can just make your complete build like you can put 40 into something and then you can put 35 into something or you can go 60 and 15 you can go 50 25 it's like it's like the perfect number 65 is good too but you can only get 65 if you're like a vast stuff mm -hmm. and i feel like I, I just feel like you know it should be available for everyone like why it just one race because they already get a lot of passives like they get a skirt, they get hero, they get uh just other stuff. So I was like, I don't know, like if if it's added in the game, it might be. Uh, I haven't like completely removed the thought out of my head. I definitely want there to like be a way to increase your SP count, but if it's not in the game, then it just won't be in it. But it's not in the game yet. If that's what you're asking. No, I, but, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to see like where your, where your head was at and like your thoughts on it and like how the community yeah, was reacting to it's it. It's really hard. I don't really care what people think about it because at the end of the day, like regardless, like you don't have to get the 75 SP. It's optional. Yeah. The same thing for Mimma, but I, I don't know. To be to answer your question truthfully, I, I really don't know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. And now speaking of like things like, you know, Bastos and whatnot, you also mentioned like wanting to make like things like that easier, like getting visored, Basto, Drews and stuff like that, like make that easier. Now, are you talking about in a sense of like higher drop chance in PvP related things like like ranked and clan wars and raids and stuff like that? Or is it more so on a side of like, because you also were talking about adding PvE aspects to the game? Which is one thing I really thought held back the game from being great because, you know, a lot there's a lot of great games out there like Peroxide, for example, is like was a really big game. It still kind of is, but um, it's like mainly PVE based, and you know, not everybody's a PVP merchant. So the fact that Type Soul was like an entirely PVP game, except for what the two bosses in it that only gave like what two two drops each or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I definitely think the fact that it had like barely to none PVE aspect things definitely held it back. So I'm happy to see that you are bringing in more PVE aspects to it. So for making like things obtainable easier, is it going to be for like mainly adding them to a like PVE aspect or making a higher drop in PVP? Um, everything generally like uh, how the game used to be should be significantly easier like progressing getting vasto um the drops like you can't roll nothing anymore like it's impossible to roll e you will always roll something now oh man thank uh, god i remember, I remember like, being in clan where so many times and like winning or clutching a match and just nothing will pop up on my screen yeah. like it'd be demoralizing that was good. I, I know it was it was very like annoying for people to like have like a 30 minute clan wars and then just like literally just get nothing or just get a blue pill like there, there will definitely be more drops and stuff. As for bosses, um, bosses will have like incentive for you to do them. Uh, if you like PVE, there will be like uh, a reason to do them. If you like PVE, like the entire dev team, uh, we've been working really hard to like make sure the game is like fun for everyone, not just like one side. Like we each um have like our factions that you know like we, we care about like me personally i'm i'm more favorable to sr let's go most everything that's like new that's been made has like been for every race it hasn't just been for sr like there's content for every race now um nuova and um josh are both like quincy devs so like you should expect like a lot of quincy stuff from them Cause they they like that race and then like other devs like um punkle and, and senku and stuff like that they're like our wrong cars like everybody on the team basically just like knows what they're doing when it comes to like that set of race 
So we know what people want. We know what like the drops they want. We know like the cool stuff that people want. So it'll definitely be in the game. If it's not in the game on the update, it'll be in game eventually, like in further updates. Um, but yeah, PVP, PVE, like the PVP is staying the same. The PVE will be interesting or it should be if people like it. If they don't like it, it can always change. But um, yeah, everything should be easier and fun now, especially like regarding drops. Okay, and I also like you were talking about how like in the in the stage like where people are cheesing bosses and things like that. So, are you gonna still make it to where like you can like they're like the bosses are server based, or are they gonna be like you're gonna also make like bosses that you have to solo, or are they all gonna be like server based, or are they all gonna be solo? Um, Jadambo and Bawa Bawa will like remain the same in a sense where like people can jump them mm -hmm. but the cheesing parts will likely get changed because after the clip i saw people just fast fanging it and just posture breaking it it was just really lame um i don't know like it, it's really hard to make like pve bosses that like actually function well especially in type but there will be bosses that you can solo. There will be bosses that you can fight with your friends. There will be new world bosses and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just just expect the good world boss content, I guess. All right, all right. And I got one more question because I don't want to take up too much of your time. So you can, you know, go back to work or whatever you was doing. Um, what inspired you to want to take up the mantle of like the main type soul game? Because of course, like we stated before and you've stated before you were the owner of type menma and you know that was also doing very well but like also type soul in a current uh like before you know you took ownership of it it was only getting like what like 50 players or something like that so it was obviously a pretty dead game so it's definitely going to be like a, a very tall uphill battle to try and like fully revive it so i just want to know like what what inspired you to try and like take up that mantle to do so um People made copies because Type Soul was just a really good game that just did not get updated. So they took it upon themselves to update the game. Whether that was Type Mimma, Refined, Rewritten, um, Soul's End, uh, all these other copies that were made, people made them because they didn't like how Type Soul currently was. Type Soul wasn't a bad game, and like, shout out to VV, Chaotic, Draco, Siren, all, all the, the devs who worked on the game, because they did a, a good job, like, people loved the game, the problem with the game was that it didn't get, like, the updates or attention that it deserved, it just got, like, basically just shut out and just left to die, and to rot, and to nothing, so people took it upon themselves to make copies and just, like, make their own version of what they deem as, you know, I can make Type Soul better. He's my dog. But, um, I don't know. It's it's a pretty big burden to take up. Um, more or so, like, I know what the game needs, but is the community willing to, like, wait for these updates, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I think the game is can definitely, like, come back from the death state that it was in. But... It definitely left a big chunk in some people because there was no reason why the game should have died in the first place. Mm. And like these copies were there to just fill the void, but now people are just like, well, if these copies can do it, then what's the main game gonna do? But we definitely have plans to make the game unique and not just like some uh, revamped copy of type. No, like this is gonna be like the original like the the one thing that sets up sets it apart from other copies and other games so yeah it's just gonna be great again all right well thank you for uh, allowing me to occupy some of your time i really do appreciate it i will uh most definitely be on the type soul re-release and making vids and whatnot and all the new content i'm definitely excited to see what you have in store because i myself did enjoy playing type soul Testing not so much because I had a pretty unfun build and obviously like I said there were, everybody was like already like good at the game and I'm just like new coming in. 
But like when I got to like, you know, build up my skill over time after the game released and stuff like that, I definitely did have a lot of fun on it. And so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited to see what you have in store because the game should not have died. It was definitely a very good game. So I am glad to see that, you know, somebody saw the potential it had and decided to, you know, bring it back. But I thank you once again. I hope you have a good rest of your evening, and uh, I'll catch you later. All right, stay blessed. You too.